What's up, world? Welcome to the positive truth, uplifting, and positive news for a more progressive society. Tim, what are we trying to bring? Here at the positive truth, we're trying to bring awareness, empowerment, inspiration, optimism, and understanding to communities everywhere. We got a hell of an interview today. You want to go ahead and introduce yourself, tell the people what you're about. I'm Gregory II. I'm a poet. I'm the host of Poetry and Chill KC. And uh, I'm an artist, entrepreneur, uh, have my own clothing brand, Visionaries Clothing. Uh, really can't put me in one category. I do a lot of things. So, That's what's up. Yeah, so. So uh, Poetry and Chill. Chill. I've been looking on Facebook, Instagram. Like, I'm loving all the videos, the interviews that I'm seeing. Can you tell us what that is? Uh, well, first it just started because I wanted a platform for myself to perform as an artist. Okay, okay. And then uh, I did the first one july 2017 it was like 60 people there and like i was like well who's all these people because there was <laughs> right. nobody i knew <laughs> right, right. i was like they really came and i had a live band and then uh i did the second one it was like over 100 people mm -hmm. and i was like i think i got something here <laughs> and then the first one i didn't even know i was going to host it was by accident so then like because that's my biggest fear is speaking in front of people so i like got out of my comfort zone because i had to host because i didn't have nobody to host it's like how i'm gonna run this show right, right. so uh it just kind of started like that and then um I took a break and then I did that B-Show 46 and it got real, it took off real big. And then I was like, oh, I need to do open mics. And then, you know, emails started coming in, everybody wanted to perform. So it just like, it just started off as me being about me. And then it just started being about actually the community and the culture. And that's the, dope. The platform. That, yeah. That's real dope, man. So when I was younger and like, uh, I want to say high school, freshman year, maybe a middle, a middle school, that poetry jam used to come on all the time. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I would watch it constantly every week and get excited for it. And then I found out Poetry and Chill was coming, going on in Oklahoma City. And I'm like, what is going on right That's now? That's what I'm trying, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, for me, I think it's amazing what's going on. Now, what, what you motive, you got started because you wanted to do this for yourself, right. right? So you're gonna have somewhere for you to perform. Right. Now you have, how many people were at your last show? Uh, over 100, we've had over 100 plus every show. Uh, Bistro, the first one we had 300. And then <laughs> the second one we had, 300 plus, but he turned away 100 people. So, That's and that was it, was, it was crazy. And then like every show we've had is a different crowd. Like every time I say, who's new here? And like half the crowd will raise their hand. I was just at UCO the other day and they had um, intros and I was up there and I asked the crowd there, like who's been to Poetry and Chill? And they're raising their hand. And it's just crazy. Then we had a, we did a thing for the kids right. and they submitted, it was over 40 submissions That's for kids. And I was That's like, oh, amazing. and these kids like love it. So it's just, it's it's changing the, it's shifting the culture right now and i just want a platform for everybody and treat all the artists like stars you know because there's a lot of talent here man and Absolutely. i knew it and now it's talent that's coming out of nowhere and i was like you know y'all did this and right. now i'm like figuring it out so it's it's like teaching me a lot personally where is it at uh we do it at queen lounge um and we also do it see Port and trail really doesn't have like a home we just the brand just goes different places so we're at we start off at black wall street then we went to Bistro 46 uh, twice. And then we was at the whole summer, we was at Queen Lounge for the open mics. But we're going to be back at Bistro 46 for the anniversary. How many times is it? Like once a week, once a month? Uh, we do it every, well, first it started every other month. And then it picked up so fast, I did it twice a month. So I've been doing them twice a month. And now I'm just kind of slowing it down a little bit because we're getting ready for the anniversary in a couple weeks. And then we have our first kid events because we're getting in, trying to get the kids open mic going too, so... No. For sure. Before we get to the kids, I know you guys have your anniversary before that. When is your anniversary? September 22nd. September 22nd, and you guys are throwing a free event? Am yes, I all our events is free. See, that's the thing about Poet and Chill. Like, all our events are free entry. Uh, people started getting upset because they got there and they didn't have no seats. So we was like, hey, okay, we do VIP tables. So we started doing VIP tables, and they always sell out. So we give people the chance if you want guaranteed seating. You can buy a table, but okay. other than that, it's free entry. Oh, man. No, no charge for the event. Before we get into the anniversary thing, this might sound like a silly question, but we have listeners from all over. Mm -hmm. What exactly do you all do at Poetry and Chill? Well, at Poetry and Chill, we have spoken word, we have live bands. Uh, sometimes we have live bands. We have now we've mixed it up. We have hip hop, R and B. Uh, we actually we've opened arms to uh, comedians. You know, we want to do we want actors to come. We want the platform to be for every genre of music, every talent. So when you come to the shows, most of the time with open mics, you'll get three or four feature artists. Sometimes it'd be mixed up. It'd be spoken word artists. It'd be uh, R&B artists. And then we'll have like I know I don't know if y'all heard of Spunk Adams. Uh, Spunk he'll come through with a saxophone and play for a little bit. 
And then after that, we have open mic. So open mic, it be rappers, it be, it be all mixed. So you get a good show. So you get a little bit of mix of everything. We kind of poetry and chill. So have you noticed a positive impact in the community since you started doing this? Oh, definitely. I mean, just people's confidence in group. Cause I mean, I just feel like the poetry and chill crowd is, is so loving. And like everybody's coming there, cause a lot of people come there, it's like, it's my first time. And everybody just stands up and really like motivates people. And it's motivated kids. Cause like I was, it was the one, the first open mic and it was kids in there, like 17 year olds, 16 year olds, 18 year olds. I was like, oh, they're in here, you know? And they was like trying to get on the mic and now they're actually performing. I had the last event, I had a 15 year old perform, uh, two 16 year olds and a 17 year old and an 18 year old. And they're like performing at my kid event in October, but they came to that one just to perform. And it's just crazy because the crowds at our events, it'd be like, 17 to our parents age in there and i'll be like we all having fun it's like crazy like it's awesome bringing people together yeah bringing everybody together all different cultures we're starting to diversify you know that was the whole mission you know i wanted it to be open for everybody to come you know so accepting for everybody yeah, exactly you know? building confidence so you got this kid event coming up in october i know we'll get back to your anniversary event mm -hmm. How what exactly is going on there with this kid of that? Uh, well, we did a first one for LGR Week with Let's Get Right. Uh, we was partnering up with them, um, and we did an event. We had kids and adults perform, and the kids performing was such a good event and like the impact. So we was like, we want to do another one with all kid performers. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna have all kid performers. Um, we got mime dancing. We got uh, uh, we got DJs. We got rappers. We got singers. We got live music. We got, I mean, these are kids though, you know. Everyone so, under 18? Yeah, under, or 19 and under. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we stop at 19. Uh, spoken word. We got the youngest artist we have, I think she's eight, and she's a spoken word artist. And then we're trying to, we have another person that's dancing and singing, she's five. So we're trying to really just switch it up with the kids, you know. Man. Promoting art. Yeah, yeah exactly. absolutely. We need that. <laughs> like, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm so happy about this event, happy that you're here with us because we talk about art and how important it is on the show on different topics that we've talked about in different episodes. Mm -hmm. But the fact that we have somebody here that's putting together this event, and it's so awesome. The fact that you even said, you know, I started this for myself, and now yeah, look it's where changed. it's at. Yeah, yeah. it changed. <laughs> it's crazy how things happen. Like, you know, you start one mission, and it's and now it, it taught me how to be selfless. Because, like, I, my biggest crowds, I didn't even get to perform at. And it was, like, 300 people. And I was just like, you know, I wanted it for myself. You know, you think, like, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I want this crowd. And, Absolutely. And I let the other artists and to help them out and to see how the love. Because I actually had uh, my first, when I stepped out of my comfort zone, I reached out to Original Flow. I don't know if y'all know Original Flow. Yeah, absolutely. Flo. We, got, yeah, we I, had him on here not too long ago. I reached out to him to see if he performed because I wanted the hip hop community. Right. And uh, he came through and man, I'm telling you, it was a dope show. Like he had his band with him and now I got Fresh coming through, uh, That's Our Rain. I'm just trying, and then I'm linking up with Gorilla Breed mm. next week uh, for Humble Vibes. Yeah, uh, Drew Swain, they're doing Humble Vibes at Queen Lounge. That's awesome. So it's just like bringing people together. And I didn't know how much I didn't think I was gonna be that person to do it, you know? Right. And like, I was like, man, I always said, man, people need to share, you know, work together. And when I got in that position and people was hitting me up, I was like, yeah, I wanna actually, you know, work with different brand, brands and people. So, cause it's different type of demographics and different type of people and everything. So like when I go to their shows, I don't, them people don't be at my shows and vice versa. So it's good to see that. And them coming to my shows, I'm like, oh man, like, and that's who I, you know, I am hip hop. You know, I love hip hop. Absolutely. So, you know, Absolutely. that's that's my first love. And that's that's dope. We uh we so we've had, you know, Fresh on here, we've had original flow, we've had Conway. Um, we've talked about Gorilla Breed and all the good things that they're doing. It's awesome to see you on here. That's what we're here for. Part of the reason. We see the same thing that you're seeing. People go into these shows, but they're not necessarily going to the other show. Right. But you guys are all doing something so great. There's so many positive things that are going on, especially with the show. You're building confidence, bringing people together. I would suggest at the barbershop the other day, I kid you not. So uh, Original Flow walks in, you know, I'm talking to him. We've run into each other constantly at random places. And uh, we were actually talking about poetry and chill. Mm. And then you text me the very next day. For real? I can't swear. That's, that's how <laughs> I've been wanting to get on y'all show. I was just waiting on the, no, I was seeing I brought so. you got, I brought it up to, to get you on that Sunday. That same week, I ran into Flow. And the next day you text me. It like happened. Like it was meant to be for <laughs> right. sure. So I'm, definitely, I'm definitely. happy that, that you're on. You're talking about everything that you're talking about. So when is the, uh, the kids event? Kids events October thirteenth, and that will be at the original Douglas Page Woodson, okay, six hundred North High Avenue. Okay, cool, cool. So that'd be a that'd be going on. Definitely. And your one year anniversary. I know you guys are like taking a little bit of break for for this, right? You guys have a show coming up soon, and then 
Yeah, we have Humble Vibes. We're doing with Gorilla Bree, Humble Vibes okay. next week. And then we're doing the anniversary. And then we're working on a kids events. But then we're trying to, because it's open mic, people are still wanting to do open mic. Right. We was just on uh, News 9 this past week. Right. And they promoted our open mic. So then, you know, the emails and inbox and blowing like, hey, how can I get on the mic? And it's crazy because there's so many different people. I mean, like, our first open mic, we had like 35 signups. That's amazing. And it's like, you know, and every time. So now I have to, the first 10 is guaranteed. And after that, it's just like random picks because it's not enough time. So that's why we're trying to figure out a way to do nothing. Start more a events. platform, man. Yeah, there's more events. Yeah, yeah. exactly. The fact that you, they have a platform to perform, people are going to start coming in. And it's organized from everything that I've heard from people that have went. Like I, I haven't been able to make it out. Now that the baby's a little bit older, we actually talked about going. We're going <laughs> to the one-year anniversary for sure. We've talked yeah. about that already, me and the wife. So I'm like, I'm real excited for all this stuff, man. I, we definitely appreciate you coming on. I know we have a couple more questions for you. JP, you have anything real quick? Mm-hmm. Tim's talking way faster than I can like throw him out. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with everything Tim said. Great thing about poetry and chills is bringing people that are trying to do positive things in community together. That's mm-hmm. what we're trying to do. But I want to talk about what you're wearing right now. Yes. So check out the visual episode, not just for everyone that's listening to the audio. So you're, you're poetry and chill. So basically, all of your clothing that I've seen has just been super positive. Yes. What what made you get into that idea? Just positive clothing. Ah, uh, this this started back in California. Uh, me and my girlfriend V, we uh, came up with Visionaries Clothing, and we was just it was started from uh, actually Mike Brown. Uh, when Mike Brown got killed, I had a don't shoot shirt, and it was very controversial because it was like a, a cop, but the cop didn't have a color on him, but he was shoot. He had a gun at a baby. And it was a black baby, and people really was bothered by that shirt. And I started wearing that shirt a lot. I wore it all over. I was wearing it everywhere. And then uh, I did my colors not a crime. And I started doing shirts like that, more like revolutionary type of shirts. And then uh, when we came up with the poetry and chill idea, uh, I was just going to put basic text, you know, this poetry and chill. And uh, V was like, no, we should put a heart. And I was like, man, ain't no dudes going to wear no hearts, you know? <laughs> and now, like, and all the dudes are wearing hearts, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, most guys wear these shirts, you know? So, you know, she was right on that one. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> I had to change up a little bit. But, yeah, so really we wanted a brand to support people of color, you know, uh, like they have a voice, especially with the poetry and chill. Uh, it was just all about love. So when people wear this shirt, it's more about self-love, you know, uh, being yourself. So that's what a lot of people, I've heard what people feel like when they come there. So that's what kind of gave me the message. At first it was just a shirt, you know, but now when people wear it, when they come in there, it builds their confidence. So I give free shirts. I mean, any artist that perform for me, I give them free shirts. You know, I've given so many free shirts away just so, People can wear them and you know support it, uh, support the movement. You know, Absolutely. so sound like anybody you know, Tim. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> sound like anybody you know. Tim? <laughs> no, man, I, I'm like I'm, I'm such a huge fan. I've been following you on social media for a while now, and like just watching the growth, especially in this poetry and chill. Just watching the growth in this. Uh, I'm like. What is going on? How are they doing this? And it, like to hear how you started it to me, it's just like wow. Yeah, this is impressive. And I, and I think. And just in Oklahoma, people, like, they want something, you know, and the crowd there, they just, they they want to come, they want to support, they love the artists, I mean, they really support these artists, they go to them, follow them on social media, yeah. and, and that's what I'm trying to, and that's why I want to p- keep putting on good shows with these people, like, and putting everyone, a lot of Everyone loves community, and that's what you're providing, that's mm-hmm. why everyone's wearing a heart on their t-shirt, it's not about the heart, yeah, it's about the, the community. Exactly, building. I like that. The red shirt that you got me over there is already one of my favorite shirts. I promise you that. That's my favorite color too, so I'm, I'm gonna rock that constant. There we go, baby. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna rock this heart. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably take it out. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. So people can see. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Poetry and chill. Take that world. Poetry and chill. Kc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll it. definitely we'll have all your uh, your social medias anywhere you need to be reached at. We'll definitely have that in our description, man. I do want to ask you one more question before we let you get out of here. It's though, Tim's man. favorite question. It is, man. So, I was always motivated by quotes as a kid. Okay. You know, sports, school, anything. Do you have a favorite quote? Yeah, it's actually my own quote, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, uh, I'm not even close to where I want to be, but I'm so far from where I used to be. Mm. That's one of my favorite quotes. I'm liking that. Yeah, I'm liking I'll, it. I like that one, too. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So check out Public Range Chill. Everything's going to be in the description. Awesome event. We will be seeing you soon, sir. We appreciate you coming on. Thank you all for having me. I appreciate it. On that note, stay positive. We're out.